so so this is just the Toyota chassis, and that's so look in there, see if you can find like. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Look what we have here. This is a 1977 Chinook RV conversion on a Toyota Hilux chassis. Really thick metal panels. There's very large mirrors to see around the bump out. Windows all have aluminum frames and the DOT stamping in them. This thing is in great condition. This is a fiberglass back, so it's the uh, Toyota cab. And then they open up and cut open the back so you could get into the back area with a fiberglass motorhome chassis on it. We have a fresh water fill. This is the propane tank. Got the exhaust pipe. We have P20575R15 inch tires. These are passenger tires. And a little bit of surface rust, but everything it is in such great condition. This is a nice slider window. Has a Christian Bow Hunters of America sticker on it. We have your furnace exhaust. It's got a rear step bumper with a hitch ball hole in it. Rear door has a heavy duty deadbolt, all aluminum framed. This window has an extruded aluminum frame as well. And it's a Chinook, that's the manufacturer. They're no longer in business, but they did make some great products throughout the years. I especially love the Tweety Bird mud flaps. Got a fuel fill. Little cab vents here. Unbelievable. Now, the owner's gonna come out shortly and he's gonna show me how this top pops up to give us more, some more room inside. He's gonna give us a tour of the inside of the coach. Chris is gonna open it up here and give us a, oh, a I guess tour. It's a little bit. It's all right. It's your, it's your uh, little oh, cabin oh. here. Hold on. It smells nice in here. It's like I have family coming over. That's right. <laughs> I love that table you got there. Yeah, it's a nice wooden handmade table. It's great for eating meals on the road. When you're you're in Baja, Mexico, surfing or. You're in the Grand Tetons. Now, who did the decor on the cabinets? Is uh, that how the manufacturer made it? No, no, it's already done. It's nice. actually a particle board. Okay. That has like, you know, this obviously this inlay look. It looks very like customized. It really does. And you know what it is, is the old RVs have, the wood in them is so heavy. Yeah. So redoing the inside of these is very, Wow, I could feel that suction when you pushed that thing up. It was like a vacuum. Yeah. So this is it. This is all uh, newer canvas here? No, this is all original canvas. Wow, that's in great shape. Yeah, and it has uh, zippers over here. Turn around. Now when you're out camping. Wow, that's really cool. Get a little bit better airflow. You can hear the outdoors. I'm gonna have my. And this is the wire for the solar panel up top. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a, a new addition. 100 just, watt solar panel and that ties into. Um, do you have like a solar controller? That yeah. Shows, like, so amperage. 
I'm having it. I have it down here. It's a little bit messy right now, but right. I have my solar controller that's up here, and it feeds to my deep cycle battery, which is my second deep cycle battery. Okay. Um, just allows me to get, you know, optimal clean energy. And this is a little inverter. A little inverter. Yeah. Okay. Probably like a 60 watt or. I think it's even. Maybe it's, oh, no, it's 120 watt, yeah. Okay. And all these lights uh, come equipped with uh, cigarette lighters. Okay. So that I can add that addition. And did you convert anything to LED? They're still incandescent bulbs? Incandescent, yeah. Okay. These are all, this is all original. Nice. Yeah. And it's got they a... They did build a, a great quality product back yeah, then. They did. Any so this table, this woodworking is uh, That's all. This is all really new. nice. Yeah. This is all so new. So this is just... Uh, you can just take anything, you know, just screw the space onto it. Uh-huh basically it's almost like a system. live edge there yeah that they left on it so this system just pops out and then how we have it set up when it was redone is that we added these legs okay that both come out this slides out that cushion lays flat against yeah, the wall so I'll show you. so basically how it happens is this once you slide that out those legs, this basically sits on top of it. Okay. And then these cushions go on it. There's nice birch plywood. Yeah, this is a you know, relatively cheap addition and add to make a Now what do we nice have down here? Bed. We have a couple snowboards. Yeah, a couple snowboards. And this is all of my Some extra storage. storage for my camping and my photo gear when I'm well, around the really country. You really do know how to pack it, I'll tell you that. And then I added a few minor additions to it. I'm gonna just go ahead and put this back. So I know there's there's heat in here, so there's a furnace I so see I down my below. Little heating unit. It's okay. a 12 volt system. And manual ignition. Yeah, so I ignite it right here. Yep. Uh, you know, and, and these batteries make it so I can keep turn my the, heat up to turns 90. Turns the blower on, okay. And you got a little stereo system in here, and then this is a, a wardrobe? So yeah, so they just added Got a couple skateboards in there. Yeah, I got my sticks. Walking sticks. <laughs> my walking sticks from Willie Nelson's ranch. Nice. Because I was just there. Um, and I just added this. And I added a little these pantry. Little and... pantry for, you know, easy, accessible food. That's the hardest part is figuring out how to, you know, use, use a little bit of the space that you have and not make it disorganized you want everything to be as optimal as possible because you know if these are just two open spaces you can just stuff stuff in it and then you forget where it is and you got to take everything out to so if I have it. sliding drawers then I can just okay this is all my electronic stuff and just go ahead and grab it really quickly on the go so you could do you could be a digital nomad in this and, Absolutely. and basically run your business or, or you could work from your smartphone or laptop computer but you could go anywhere on the road mm -hmm. i'm and, a camera operator and okay for by trade so uh this could be your office I don't need your hotel to, room yeah i don't need to live in one place all the time i work around the country and i can just go there go surfing on my free time and shoot photos i could see here run. it's um these handles that's part of the push pull operation at the top yeah. you're able to utilize them for your surfboard yeah, that was, that was, the hard part is, you know, this is a retractable roof. So, since it's a retractable roof, you can only have so much weight. So if I have my surfboards on there, my solar panel, this is going to start sagging, sagging, sagging. Uh-huh. So, I figured if I just keep them inside, they're safe. I can go out and do whatever I want. Sure, and the heat's and not going to are... hurt it, the sun exposure. Uh-huh. And then, what does this do up here? Anything, this is not a bed, this is just this storage? Is, this, uh, when this came out in 1977, it was, it was uh, created as a two adult, one child okay. sleeper. So but, I just roll my, you know, obviously I roll my linen up here, but this is small enough to where I could sleep on it if I really need to, um, but it would be perfect for just a kid. And so my next my next move is I'm gonna make another sliding piece so that you can sleep up here. That's nice. With some like little legs, if I can put little legs right here. Sure. Just slide it out and then be able to sleep another person comfortably. And you got uh, about a two cubic foot refrigerator. It runs on propane and battery. No, it runs. It's a 12 volt system. Okay. Also. Um, yeah. So the propane just runs my stove and my heater. Mm-hmm. And then my little refrigerator. 
not really much in there, just film. Film, yeah. <laughs> Organic food. <laughs> it's something. And then you got some more storage underneath the sink yeah. area. So I just All added sliders. this, you know, my, my... See, so it's pretty easy. I got sure. stuff back there. And then um, when you can, if you want to come around to the cab, cab area, I'll stay back here. If you could show us what's going on up front. These are really nice seats. They look like uh, they're out of something one. newer. Excuse me. It's a little bit messy on the road, but. That's all right. <laughs> it's acceptable. So, uh, yeah, so this truck uh, came, the Toyotas, uh, Chinooks came as four speed. Mm -hmm. And then um, we added a fifth speed, so it's greater, uh, better for climbing hills. Okay. And, you yeah, know, a little bit can, of overdrive. Can, yeah, you can get up to 80, 90 miles an hour if you need to on the highway. Um, uh, it looks like uh, there's a cruise control button up there. Yeah, That's added, added, added aftermarket. Added aftermarket cruise control, aftermarket stereo. Um, these seats are aftermarket. The original seats don't have a, a neck rest, a headrest. So if you had got rear-ended, your, your head's your going to head hit is, the cabinet there. Absolutely. Um, and then you have... Added a aftermarket uh, AC. Uh-huh. Um, that that didn't come. This came out, uh, you know, three or four years after the Toyota Chinook. I see that. It out. looks like it just bolts on underneath the dash. That it is an add-on bolt. And that's yep. a metal dashboard with a little pad up top. That's no, a, it's actually it's a plastic dashboard. But you what, know, even these, the glove box is a plastic. This is metal. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, nice. You're right. um, these came, and most of them that you'll see at this point, the heat cracks them. Uh huh. Almost everyone is cracked. So adding just this. Uh, carpet top really hides it nicely and it and it makes it just look a lot more clean. The headliner is nice too. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm almost sure that this is original. Yeah, it looks like it is. I don't even know how you'd put it in aftermarket. It kind of just fits in there. Yeah. Uh, is the hood easy to pop? Yeah, I can pop it. All right, I'll come around. <clears throat> this thing is so cool. I want one now. So you have the Optimo yellow top battery. Yeah, it's That's actually not new. hooked up right now. Um, cause I'm just doing a little bit of uh, electrical work in it. Okay. Um, but you got washer fluid. This looks like uh, radiator. Radiator overflow. Yeah. Master cylinder. This is the clutch. Uh, this no. is brake. This, this is, is brake. Uh, this is front brakes. This is rear brakes. This is for the clutch. Yeah. And this is the cruise control device that was added after market that sucks in and out to move the cable. We have uh, the engine battery here, a horn, the air conditioning compressor. This is the air filter. And then, uh, I'm really not sure what that is. Mm. Fuel filters down below, oil filter. Everything's easy to get to. You got your wiper motor. Yeah. Look at the bottom of the hood. Even though it's a little grimy, it's in great condition. Usually these are all rusted out. Yeah. And then we added uh, Headman headers, which okay. is an aftermarket system. So we would have had a uh, regular cast iron manifold. We got to... It gets it a little bit, you know, better gas mileage. Sure. Um, and overall, the drive is really nice. We added... Um, this is the gauge wire, I guess, for the... So this is, yeah, for my, new, running. my new electrical system. I'm, I'm going to okay. replace the electrical that's, that's in here right now, and I'm just going to... Uh, redo it so that it's just cleaner mm -hmm. and it's easier to get to. Um, nice. I, I'm really impressed. I had never seen one of these before. Obviously, this is at top-notch condition for its year. Yeah. And uh, just so we could all see, that this is what the top looks like when it's popped up. And actually, that's that's why I added <laughs> I have the sticks laying around. Let's see. Sorry. So since I added my solar panel, my roof kind of sags just a little bit because of the weight of it. Okay. So I mean, this is my temporary fix right now. It allows me to just get a few more inches. Oh, I see. On my canvas, which for me, it helps out a little bit. I'm a short guy, so I don't really need it. But for some friends, their heads hit the ceiling. So, yeah. Um, with the inside, it has six foot two inches of clearance without the surfboards. And with the surfboards, it's probably... Uh, five ten of clearance. Look at the hardware. This is uh, this is very high quality uh, residential here, and this is our RV application. 
uh, together the two uh, make this van is it very secure yeah and I and I added uh, this is the, actually the original propane tank that's gonna be replaced soon enough that's a side mounted propane tank these are very expensive compared to a, a vertical one yeah I have one on my Airstream base camp about $160 replacement absolutely but uh, over a certain period of time places will not fill them anymore because they're not to code and that's my problem right now is that it's Every now and then I can find a gas station that will do it, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it'd be way easier if I could just go anywhere and yeah. get mine. Yeah, you're out west somewhere, you're at their discretion whether or not gonna, they're going to want to do it at all. Yeah, I just added this too, just, just in case I need, if I, if I lock my keys in my car, I Got have it. two sets of everything in there. there. So. Well, I, I, Chris, I really appreciate the tour of the 1977 Toyota Chinook. Good luck in your travels around the country and uh, your profession. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, please like this video, comment, share. I love it. We'll see you soon.